Pathology Learning Center, we got about four and a half thousand different types of human tissue with different types of diseases on this. The reason why we are doing the preservation is because it's for future doctors, future researchers that we are preserving our specimens and also for people that are doing research in pathology. A typical day for me coming into work, switching on my computer, checking my emails. I will have to set up tutorials for our undergrads, students, um, second and third year studying medicine. And the tutorials that I'm setting out for those students would be particularly also be part of the OSPIS and OSCIS. So it would be part of their exams. So I have to like, firstly set up those particular specimens for our students for the tutorials. Heading then back to the workshop, switching on the embedding machine because I am currently busy now with a project for our ARE students to embed blocks, tissue blocks for them to do research on that particular tissue. I'm also embedding quite a lot of different tissue blocks for our SSM um, students that will also be assisting with on some research projects that we are running at UCT. Once it gets to me, I need to know what type of specimen it is. The reason being because there's not just one particular chemical in order to preserve that particular specimen. Then you must also bear in mind the pathology on that particular specimen because each sort of particular preserved solution reacts differently to the type of pathology and that particular specimen that you are dealing with. Prosecting you literally there is the body laying and you have to dissect and do the eviscerations. Dissecting, if you have a specimen like a fresh one now, coming to me, it's a process. Once we have that cassette, that will go up to the lab on a slide and then that actual slide will then go to the qualified pathologist. They will look at that slide under the microscope and then they will get a diagnosis from that as to tell you what is wrong with that particular specimen. So it's a long process getting to that one little glass slide. So this is very uh, most fascinating part of that. When you can you see you would it now react here towards the Excel monster and then can you must now there for another to slide what the right uh, preservation tissue is for long term that it enough you can last from now to for another 10 to 30 years. But this is for me very fascinating. Within the Pathology Learning Center, I'm also responsible for taking photos of all the specimens. We do have a website, so those photos will be placed on our website. And then also we do have a virtual micro scanner that we have to scan all our microscopical slides that will be part and parcel of our website with that particular case. We are in this age where we have a lot of skills that's gone and dusted because people don't want to hand it over. So I feel it's my duty, whatever I know, if I can have a positive effect or spark an interest in the next Melvin or the next future doctor or whatever. I always wanted to be a doctor, but you know, we're not all that fortunate. So to me, if I can just get into a hospital and help doesn't matter which field, then I know I would have had a contribution towards helping the next person. It's not about the tissue itself, it's just that I can be part of helping somebody. <laughs>